guys? That's new here, back with the Arizona Coyotes Relocation Franchise Mode. If you guys haven't watched the first two episodes, please do. Um, but we are relocating to Seattle to become the Metropolitans. I haven't looked into... Uh, I don't even know if I can um, change the uh, relocation stuff. No, you can't. So, some people said maybe I should change like the regular jerseys and then uh, keep the alternate, which I might, I might think about. I think you can change the jerseys once you've relocated already. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. Um, the other thing people uh, have suggested is to trade Datsuk to lower our cap. Um, I'm still kind of torn. The only thing I might do is if it's near the end of the season, maybe I'll like trade him to the worst team and try and get some kind of draft pick for him or something. Um, I don't really know who would take him <laughs> at this point, but because uh, I feel like his value is pretty low. Nashville's doing terrible. Holy crap. But uh, yeah, maybe at the trade deadline, like we'll stop at the trade deadline and I'll see. Um, I just, I don't know. I'd rather not trade him just to do it, you know, just to get a pick or something. Even if it's a second rounder, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't I'm just, I'm not sure about that. Um, I still, I still really want to sign Breeze Glove, but we have no cap space now. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think Datsuk has a ton of value. Yeah, he's not really super valuable. He's a top six. He's still 88, but I mean, he's 38 years old, right? Um, the only thing I'm afraid of is that if I trade him, uh, he'll end up, like, I mean, I think he's only got one year left in his contract anyways. I don't, I don't know if he's going to retire or not. So, I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he makes a return to the NHL in the offseason. Like, I don't know. Maybe, but yeah, maybe I'll trade him. I don't know. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys quickly is that they've actually updated the uh, trading block. So, now it has the team records in there. Um, I haven't noticed if the status of, like, rebuilder or contender is still there, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of nice having the records in the trade block or the trade area So that way you can kind of look and see how a team's doing and if you look and you're like, okay, where's Nashville? Um, yeah, they're doing awful. Maybe let's try and get their first round pick um, That's kind of something that you can look towards So, uh, yeah, possibly might do that. Um, it's kind of a nice addition there uh, They added in the reti retired player uh, Law or list at the end of the season. I was gonna say log doesn't make any sense um, the other thing that was updated is there's more relocation stuff there's um, new owner goals and whatnot added like adding certain players or whatever like a top six forward or whatever um, what else do we got here I know the other thing that was kind of broken that is now better is the set prices um, so at the bottom fan feed pack was automatically always negative but now it seems that they fixed it uh, in the patch anyways pleasantly surprised by the attractive prices on the arizona coyotes club seats you damn right let's uh raise it up a dollar <laughs> what does the other one say lower bowl tickets are more than fairly priced okay uh oh, lower bowl right there 107 i feel like at that point you can kind of get some uh wiggle room to try and uh, raise your prices a little bit uh concessions price of the fountain pop it's fair what priced is that a thumb down and said price fairly? Stoked to get coffee at a good price. <laughs> that's a slightly discount on Fountain Pop. Nice. Price of Fountain Pop is out to lunch. Okay, that's really weird. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, merch, I think, is doing pretty good. There's no fan feedback there and nothing there. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good for sales. I know somebody asked me to check the uh, sales. Our team's been doing pretty solid, though. Um, right now, like, I th I'm pretty sure we're in a playoff spot, which is crazy. But uh, I'm going to continue simming. I'm ah, The other thing, I like I said, maybe we can sign Breeze Glove. Um, maybe at the... Uh, I don't even know. I, I would have loved to sign him earlier, but I mean, he still would be an upgrade, even if we got rid of Mike Smith or something, because he's like, he's expensive right now. Done scouting. Oh, okay. There we go. I don't remember what we did last. Uh, okay, we need to do goalies, I guess. Here we go. Uh, three weeks. We'll do... Yeah, three weeks. Sure. Yeah, freaking Mike Smith's so expensive. <laughs> I don't know if we could ship him off, though. That's something we could look at and then maybe sign Breeze Glove. I mean, we have 280 overall goalies. Uh, the AHL guy's gotten up to an 80, which is nice. But, um, yeah, I'm not... I don't know if I want to take the chance at the trade deadline and try and sign him and then not be able to sign him, you know? That'd be the only uh, downside. But if we did trade Datsuk, we could still try and sign, uh, sign him and then we could roll with uh, Breeze Glove and Smith going into the playoffs, which might help out a little bit. Uh, Breeze Glove only wants one year, so we'd pretty much just be giving him the rest of his uh, rest of the year, 
basically, which wouldn't be too bad at all. Uh, okay, we're dropping some games here, guys. What the heck's going on? 24, 19, and 5. That's not good. Uh, come on, guys. All right, there's a win. Nice. Beating LA. Got to win those uh, division games. They're huge. San Jose. They're about 500. Come on, guys. Big dubs. Big dubs. Man, we're doing really good division-wise. That's uh, that's good to see. Uh, scouting. Okay, let's go to the QMJHL. And we'll do a month there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that uh, there's so many like CHL players and then not a whole lot of the other places. And then as you kind of go on throughout the year, even that drops. They don't really create. I guess it doesn't auto-generate as many players, but... 27, 20, and 5. That's decent. Come on, big big game against Pittsburgh. There we go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe... I seriously am just... I can't believe how decent we're doing right now. 6-1. There's a big dub. There's a big dub. Holy moly. 30, 20, and 5. Ah, uh, LA got us. Okay. San Jose, big division game. Come on, guys. Yeah. Anaheim, big division game. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, nice. All right, so that wasn't a great, <laughs> great division trip, but that's fine. Chicago, ooh, Dallas is going to be good too. Yeah, five nothing loss. Buffalo, Buffalo, one nothing win. There we go. Yeah, I feel like Datsuk's not going to really help anybody with the last bit, but it would help us with our cap rate. So, uh, edit block. Okay, sure. Uh, let's let's just put Datsuk on the block as well, but um, I don't think that's gonna help us out a lot. I'm surprised his overall hasn't dropped from not playing too. It's kind of weird. Um, maybe I'll hold off. Yeah, I was gonna put Mike Smith on there, but you know what? I'd rather roll with an 85 and an 84, especially if we get an injury going into playoffs. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll save that like that. And you know what? I'm gonna do it just before the trade blo the trade deadline, I think. So let's take a look at stats. We're second in our division, looks like. Holy moly! Woo! Look at that, 70 points, right behind the Oilers. That's wicked. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're we're sitting decent right now. Uh, wow, the Jets are first place. Holy crud! Dallas Star. That's very surprising, actually. Dallas Stars, Edmonton Oilers, Chicago Blackhawks. So we're since sixth in the, the conference, but we're we're second in our division, so that's good. We'll make the playoffs as long as we keep it up. If we're at seventy points. What do we got? St. Louis, yeah. Colorado's a couple points behind too. So yeah, we're doing pretty good though. I'm, I'm pre Oh, you know what? I was <laughs> I was totally gonna look and see who's the last place uh, team. I I don't think it'd be fair to tr try and get a first out of them, but um, Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. Datsuk would definitely help the Toronto Maple Leafs. I can tell you that. Uh, so Toronto, Nashville, New Jersey, Carolina. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Again, I know it's not realistic, but hopefully he just retires after this. But I feel like he's an 88 still. And that might still... He might still be able to play next year. But we'll see. Datsuk to the wing. Ugh. I don't know if I could do this. Just from a moral standpoint, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> oh man, holy crap, they got so many second round picks. Even if I got like San Jose or something. Yeah, I don't know if I can. <sighs> I don't know if I can do this, man. It just, it seems so wrong to trade Datsuk to, uh... oh, they have too many players, okay, good. Whoo! <laughs> I think Nashville has too many players too, actually. Uh, yes, they do. Okay. Um, who would actually... He's got a bad record here. Let's just look at the records. Holy, look at Tampa Bay. 44, 11, and 6. How are they over the cap? That doesn't make sense. Um, I think I said Columbus was doing... Oh, well, they're like 500. Calgary, no. Not giving them to a division team. Um, Minnesota. There's not really any teams struggling that. Well, I guess New Jersey kind of. Oh, they have space too. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Uh, Boston second. Does this work? They have too many players. Son of a gun. 
Because, yeah, we... Oh, do we have too many goalies, though? That's the other thing. I'm actually not sure. We might have too many goalies. Uh, how many goalies do we have under contract? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I, th uh, I think five is too many, actually. Uh, man, Dominique is actually doing pretty good. I can't really take on a contract. Well, I guess we could take on a contract. I don't really want to, though. Kincaid. Let's see if there's any, like, potentially young prospects that we could take on. Uh, or maybe I'll just trade for some really bad player. 65, there it is. Okay, let's, let's just take this guy on. Wait, one year left? Okay, that's good. We don't even have to worry about it. Proposed trade. Let's see if this works. Trade accepted. Okay, nice. There we go. We got a second for Datsuk. We trading away a star player. Really? Everyone's mad. He's not even. Oh, it's so frustrating. He's not even on the team. He's not. He hasn't played a game. Oh, geez. All right, that's fine. Sent him. To, sent him. Sent the contract to Jersey. We'll just pretend it's a condo. We're not going to even worry about stats. Anyways, we got our contract. And we got our uh, second round pick off our backs now. I don't know what our cap space is though now. Um, I'm kind of curious. Um, I guess we'd have to go to contracts. Let's check her out. Unsigned rookies. Uh, it doesn't even tell you here. That sucks. I wish I told you right on the like main whatever. Oh, there you go. Cap space. Current total salary. Yeah, it doesn't look like we freed up that much though. Son of a... Cap space, 3.571. Yeah, I don't think that's enough to get uh, Breeze back. Damn it. Who else could we get rid of here? Do we still have... I think we still have... Uh... Hmm. Nope. I don't want to do here. Oh, nope. Too many buttons. Too many buttons. Oh, my gosh. Pronger? Maybe we'll get rid of Pronger. Why is Murphy so expensive? Jeez, four mil? Like, what the heck is that? Chris Pronger, let's see if we can get rid of him. <laughs> see if we can ditch that Conti. I don't know, man. Let's find out here quick. Uh, trade to approve. Also, my Elgato kind of glitched out there, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I tried to end it out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give up on the dream of trying to, trying to trade uh, Pronger. Um, I'm going to just go for... Breeze Glove. I don't know if he's gonna actually sign. I mean, we don't have enough cap space for him, but we'll we'll give him all we have. See if that works. Um, I don't know if he'll actually sign. He hasn't played though, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, but we did trade Datsuk, which lowered our cap a little bit. But uh, yeah, I don't. We didn't really free up a ton of space. <laughs> um. Anyways. Uh, let's keep going with the uh, simulation here. Um, I think uh, it'd be nice to get Breeze, but I don't think it's going to happen at this point. So, might as well just go to the end of the season, see if we can uh, wrap it up here. Do pretty good. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Perhaps more money. We don't have more money. Sorry, Breeze. Good luck in the uh, free agency, though, man. <laughs> All right, no worries, no worries. All right, let's keep our push to the playoffs, man. If we could, if we could win the cup with Arizona before moving, that would be so sick. Could you imagine the hype going into Seattle? Be unreal, unreal hype. That'd be beautiful. Okay. Um, defense for three weeks. There we go. Oh, season ticket drive. Here we go. As we like to move into our new city, we have already received initial season ticket purchases below the initial. Holy crap! We've almost sold seventy percent. Oh my gosh. I like how it, how it actually uh, it notices that uh, you're moving into a city, into a new city too. Uh, let's just round some of these up, I think. That's good. Uh, 22,000 for the year. That's pretty decent. Yeah, people seem to be liking our uh, ticket prices so far. That's pretty good. Um... I think that's pretty decent, actually. Let's, uh... 
Now that the season tick drive has begun, maybe a good idea to increase our advertising for... Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Uh, what do we want to do here? Local popularity? That doesn't really matter anymore. Let's do 20%. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do... 50% into season ticket? Let's do that. Let's see if that works out. Save budget. Alright, let's see how she goes. We might lose fans, but... I don't really... It doesn't really matter at this point, right? We're, we're moving anyway, so... As long as we still have a little bit of season tickets, or uh, game day ticket sales, it's totally fine. And, uh... Yeah, the season tickets is going to be huge, moving into Seattle. If we can sell that... If we can sell that puppy out, it'd be fantabulous. Fantabulous. <laughs> Holy crap. Six game losing streak, guys. Seven game losing streak, guys. We're blowing it. Oh, God, we're blowing it. Eight game losing streak, guys. What is going on here? Come on. Come on, figure it out, guys. Nine, ten game. What? Arizona Coyote Meltdown. What is going on? Oh, there's a win. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god 10 game losing streak yeah we're probably not going to make the playoffs now that was a giant meltdown oh my goodness wow <laughs> oh my gosh we're doing it for the fans <laughs> holy shoot oh man oh wow okay come on guys oh my god what is going on Oh, this is tough. This is tough to watch. We totally blew it. We blew it so hard. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, just a big F you to Arizona. See you later, guys. I'm not even making the playoffs for you. Oh, my God. Oh, this is your franchise. What is going on here? Owner happiness. Okay, stop, stop. Finish, finish up. What's going on? Okay. I don't think we're going to make the playoff. You can navigate. Why is it giving me all the uh, info again? Primary goals. Goal needs to be completed. Marked as failed. Oh, it should be within. Yeah, we never. We weren't going to get that. Stretch goals. We didn't have any. He wants to average at least 70% concessions. I think we're doing that. I'm not really sure, though. I think we failed this, though. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Yeah, that's not happening. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why is it still popped up here? That's weird. Owner happiness. Okay, we got it, yeah. We got it. We got it. Okay, upgrade and maintain. I think most of our stuff is kind of terrible. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, last game attendance. We're actually selling a decent amount of tickets too. Team prestige, yada yada yada. That doesn't matter, okay. I'm gonna guess we're out of the playoffs. We bombed it. I don't know what happened, bro. Oh, man. We're so close to one game left. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, are we, like, actually out of the playoff? That's probably what the team meeting's about. Like, hey, you guys, way to blow the season away. Oh, man. Okay, let's check the West here. I think we're out. Yeah, we're out. Oh, my God. How? How did we do that? The Edmonton Oilers went on a giant slide, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh my land! Like what? Oh man, we blew it. Okay, well, sucks for the uh, sucks for the fans, but uh, <laughs> let's hold the team meeting here. <laughs> That's terrible. That's so bad. Dave Bolin, what do you want? Play of the team has been a distraction. Come on, Dave. Had no impact. Wow, he just he brushed that. He brushed it off. Oh my gosh. Thought I'd never have. We can, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We didn't play our best, and this is the result we deserve. We need to play better next year. Ah, uh, McCulloch knows what's going on. <laughs> Especially going into a new city like this. Whoo! That's a rough one. That is rough. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well... Ay, ay, ay. Barudal. Alright, well, see you later, Arizona. It's been a blast. 
it's been an absolute slice. It'd be nice to get the last win there at home, maybe. No, we lost. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad about that. Okay, so we should get another pop-up about the uh, season ticket drive. I want to see how that's going. Actually, I should rechange my... Uh... At this point, since we don't have any more games, uh, we want to change our budgeting around. This is a key, because we're trying to sell season tickets for our new city, right? So now, now that it's over, we want to plop everything into... Uh, um, I think this might actually help us going into our new city. Um, but we want to absolutely just sell a bunch of merch and uh, stuff there. There we go. Game, game day doesn't matter anymore. Uh, let's take a look at our operations quickly. Uh, we sent our target. Yeah, there's no way we're getting down there for sure. Arena operations. Well, we could probably put that more into... Oh, no, our advertising is maxed out. Okay. Well, um, I guess that doesn't really matter at this point. Our arena's, arena's done, so we're not really using it. We might as well just keep the extra funds, right? Save budget. Okay, we didn't use up our funds. That's fine. I want to see our balance sheet, though. How does it look? Yeah, not bad. Advertising, airing, operation, player salaries, promotion nights. We didn't share any revenue? That's weird. Oh, I guess maybe that only affects relocation. Okay, decent. We're at uh, not not a great but uh, not a great sale thing, but like 10 million profit. It's not super great, but uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to look at stats really fast. I totally forgot to do that. Let's do this really fastly. Really fastly. Stats central. Okay. So, Oliver Ekman Larson had 69 points. <coughs> Excuse me. Verbata had 68. Nomi with 54. That's pretty good. He's up to an 87. Uh, Tobias Ryder, 82. I don't know if I said the reader. Reader, maybe I said his name wrong. Uh, Declare 48. Strom had 47. That's pretty good. Uh, what else we got going on here? Okay. Uh, goalies. So yeah, the plan, like I said at the start, was to uh, try and get Ben Bishop. Um, we're going to have to offload... Yeah, we're going to have to offload Mike Smith in the offseason. Though. That's the only thing. Maybe at the draft we can try and get rid of him. Um, yeah. Played a lot of games, though. Holy crud. Um, he completely blew it down the stretch for us, but, you know... <laughs> That's how she goes. Uh, let's look at overall here, quick. Overall league stats. So John Tavares finished with 98 points. Wow, Tarasenko 94, Crosby with 92, Parisi 89, Drew with 84, King with 83. All right, I don't see. Uh, I don't see Ryan. There's Ryan Strom. I don't even see McDavid up here. Where the heck's McDavid? Huh? That's weird. Okay. Uh, goals, what do we got? Tarasenko with 52. Nice. That's pretty good. Uh, let's look at defenseman here quick. Uh, points, Eric Carlson. What else is new? Uh, plus 12, though. Like, Carl Ar Carl Arlsner. Holy crap, 40. Plus 40. That's pretty solid. Uh, goalie stats. And what do we got for goalie stats here? Oh, jeez, I thought we froze. Woo! Ben Bishop. Look at that. He's going to be a free agent. It's going to be the top goalie Vezina winner. Oh, baby. I'm so excited to grab him. Woo! <laughs> so excited. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Team stats at all. Um, not too worried about uh, the playoffs. Doesn't really affect us at all. So that's not a big deal. Uh, let's keep going to the next uh, chapter. Next chapter of our lives here. I'll go to like a week before the draft. Owner goals evaluated. There we go. Good job. I expect goals to be accomplished when I set them. Keep doing this and you'll be a shoe in for an extension when the time comes. Past, I would like you to be within 0.8 of the player's salary. I said, what? We passed that? That doesn't even make sense. Player salary budget. Oh, maybe it's like the paid budget? I don't even know. Maybe it's the team budget. I'm not really sure. I have added 25,000 to your available funds to use next year. Nice. Uh, okay, so one second. How did we pass that? I'm very, I'm very confused right now. Uh, oh, that's cool. Nice. It shows the uh, the series right there. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty neat. I'm very confused that happened. Balance sheet. Maybe it goes up by the balance sheet. Yeah, player salary is sixty-seven point six three seven million. 
So I guess your actual cap is not counted. It's whatever you actually pay your players. So that makes sense. But I don't know how you're supposed to realistically know that, you know, going into it. I don't... Yeah, I don't really understand. But that's that's neat that they have the, uh, the, the series back there again. That's pretty nice. Okay, anyways, let's keep going here. All right, so I saved ahead. Uh, I just kind of filled in the scouting. Season ticket drive update. So we're at 80% right now. Um, I know it keeps going, so... Let's uh, let's actually just take a peek how the prices are. Neutral, neutral, neutral. But it looks to be up. Sold in the last seven days. 33, 72, 97. It's pretty good. Um, capacity. It doesn't actually show your total sold, which is kind of whatever. But we're pretty much on track for the for the, for the uh, like average. So um, yeah, you know what? Let's maybe round these down. See if that helps. A little bit. There we go. Just round them down a hundred dollars. Uh, today NHL for draft. Okay. All right. So that's all I kind of wanted to see. Um. So yeah, we got to go and do the draft next time. Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. Look at that. Sweet. 2017 Dallas Stars Stanley Cup champions. That's wicked. Actually, that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they added like little stuff like that here and there. That's sweet. There it is. We can also go to the playoff tree and see how she went. Uh, so Chicago beat uh, the Jets, Minnesota beat St. Louis, San Jose beat LA, Dallas beat Edmonton, then Chicago beat uh, Minnesota, Dallas beat San Jose, and then Dallas beat Chicago to go to the finals. In the East, you had the Islanders take out the Caps 4-1, Pittsburgh beat the Wings 4-2, Ottawa beat Florida 4-2, and Carolina beat Tampa 4-1. And then uh, next round, you got Islanders beating Pittsburgh 4-1, Carolina beating Ottawa 4-2, and then uh, the Islanders beat Carolina 4-2 to go to the final. Dallas winning in seven games. <gasps> that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, there are the uh, the awards are available, but we'll do that next time before the draft. Um, otherwise, yeah. See you later, Arizona. It's been fun. It's been a it's been a great time. I'm so I'm so happy that we had the chance. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button for more. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hello out there. We're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows. The whistle blows. And the puck goes down the ice. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game.